Welcome, dear soul. Welcome to my channel. We are going to call this week's reading Preparing for Activation. A lot of the planets still lingering in Capricorn as they move toward conjunctions with Pluto and the Sun in Aquarius, which we saw happening last week. So there's a lot of communication between the personal planets and the outer planets this week. Um, also with the moon as they prepare to make these major um, transits to Pluto. For the first time in this cycle in Aquarius, we will start to see these transits um, between uh, Mercury first to be followed by Mars and Venus. And those will be coming up, but for this week, it's as if the planets are preparing us, or it's as if the universe, the energies, the divine energies are preparing us. The planets don't do anything to us. They just, they signify the energy possibility, the potentials. So this will be the tarot and astrology for the week of Sunday, January 28th through February 3rd. Welcome to my channel, my name is Shannon. As I was saying, it's as if the activations are going to begin. So I'm gonna start up here. I've got this Astro Code deck and it is going to pull out different astrological principles or planets I'm gonna look at and it's calling us to look at the energy of Uranus. So this week we've got a beautiful trine between Uranus and a Mars-Mercury conjunction we have going on up in Capricorn. So this has us saying and doing some things, creating change, creating disruption. So do expect to see that and feel the reverberation of that throughout this week. Um, let's see what tarot is underneath, the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So it's as if there is um, something being exchanged here, some type of energy exchange where almost there could be a loss of something dramatically. Um, it's look at the pentacles kind of exchanging hands there. This also could be a gain of something dramatically, but it's probably in the realm of information because we're talking Mercury and Mars. Um, of course, Mars will take some action on something that it hears. So this could be a dramatic exchange of energy that the six of pentacles is showing us. So Uranus is there to upgrade us, to um, awaken us. And when we see Uranus and Mercury talking to each other, this is higher galactic energy they are bringing in with some type of martial aspect. And sometimes Mars likes to separate, not sometimes, Mars always likes to separate. Could be that what is going on with this situation is creating some type of either separation with or knowledge or uncovering about some um, Uranus and Taurus. I think the pentacles really showing us that something um, shocking their changing energy, but it's a trine. It's going to be for our benefit eventually. It just doesn't always feel that way when it's happening, but those planets, both Mercury and Mars will be making conjunctions soon, next week or the week after with the planet Pluto. So it's almost as if these two planets are getting together with Uranus, this outer planet, getting some information together that will then be passed by Mercury to Pluto. And we will start to see something happen because of that. Let's see what we have next. Okay, so we've got Chiron here, the healer. Chiron's been in Aries for some time now, working through those issues that we have of self-determination, self-worth in Aries. It brings up some primary wounds having to do with our individuality, our ability to begin things, our ability to express that martial, Martian energy, I should say. Um, so Chiron is there meant to heal. It's also the maverick. This is um, different energy. It goes well with Uranus, actually, in the sense of it brings some, some different way to go about healing in. So we see Chiron working this week again to kind of prepare our souls for the transformational processes that we've been going through. Chiron recently going direct. So we have all the planets direct now. I forgot to mention that earlier. Uranus went direct this week uh, or a couple days ago. Yesterday, maybe? Yeah. 
and this will start to very slowly shift that Taurus house forward and therefore Chiron kind of working with the individual energy inside your soul trying to heal it and we see it giving strength you know and I can have this upside down I can have it upright actually I, I feel like it doesn't matter because this could be inner strength that you're working on this could be um, some outer strengthening of your relationships, of your um, whatever's going on in Aries for you, getting stronger, your self-worth, your independence, your authenticity. So this strength card showing up here, number eight, to really support that Chiron energy as we see this week, again, preparing us to undergo these major activations that are going to be coming up um, in the next couple weeks so let's see what we have here aquarius there we go perfect this aquarius by the end of this week we will still only have the sun at 14 aquarius and pluto will still be at zero degrees so mercury won't quite have moved in there yet but it will have also made a sextile with neptune uh, in preparation again for its meeting with Pluto. So Aquarius is where the energy is really focusing. It's like that's the grand event that we're working up to. I'm curious to see. Ah, Two of Cups. This is really interesting because, you know, Aquarius is about the collective. And when we experience it individually, that's what these personal planets are really highlighting for us. The Two of Cups energy has us merging here with something. So it's as if our individual selves are merging in Aquarius, but also bringing us closer to our own um, individual merges, so to speak. Who are we connecting with? Who is our individual consciousnesses? If that's a word. Um, connecting with because of all these transformational changes. You know, the um, planet Venus is in Capricorn, kind of slowly coming up behind and making those same conjunctions as everyone else. So this does signify the planet of love and relationships. So I feel like the energy we're moving toward in Aquarius will have an effect on our relationships. So um, let's pull our last card here and see what we've got. Sixth house, st sustainability. Sixth house being a house of service, a house of work. Um, this is a place of health. So pay attention to uh, what that looks like for you. The sixth house from the sun in Aquarius is Cancer, ruled by the moon. The moon making some connection again to the planets this week. By the end of the week, the moon will be making a trine with Neptune, um, which is very dreamy, lovely energy and a sextile with that Mars and Mercury um, conjunction that's going to move into that conversation with Pluto. So again, it's as if um, the moon, the energy, the universe is supporting this um, transformation in our daily routine, in our daily life. It wants this transformation to be sustainable. It wants it to. That's the intent. So let's see this last card. Wow, two of pentacles. So two twos right here. I do feel like this is a relationship card here. Got a little glare on it here. Let me move this up a little bit so you can see this better. Um, this um, two of pentacles over here matching really, really nicely and really highlighting the decisions and the choices that will be um, coming up amongst the personal planets as they prepare to kind of activate the Aquarius part of your life and as they're in Capricorn kind of working their way through there. So that's really nice. Um, the energy this week is building up. Um, so what you do is you prepare to surrender. So I've got the auspicious symbol stuck here and let's see what we get. Wind horse, take a ride on the wind horse to offer prayers for well-being and good fortune. I think we could all use a little bit of prayer for well-being and good fortune. So I really like that. That's um, movement, <laughs> another indication of energy moving through our lives. It's as if the wind horse here is just like riding through and 
um, making some preparations, but doing so with blessings in mind. And uh, I just send you light and love and blessings and luck to you and healing. Please, again, check out any of my uh, other playlists, meditations, affirmations. And uh, I thank you so much for your likes and your subscribes. And uh, again, I wish you luck and love and light. See you next week.